Dyson Sphere Program is a sci-fi sim with bits of everything thrown in, including Factorio. It's out now in early access on Steam in both Chinese and English language versions. So behold the Suikau 11, a bold spaceship heading towards the solar system of tomorrow, as we prepare to gather resources, develop production lines, and harness the power of the sun Every in space! As one Ugh. And this is my Youth Cat Studio, and thanks to Gamera Game for the key to this. In this video, we're playing right from the very start of the game. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Right, here we go. Oh, he's gone. I've gone. The Suikau 11's pissed off into space. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we're coming in for a landing. Here we go. Our first planet. Ooh. We're going to land right on a tree, I think. Oh, no, it's okay. We're not that dumb. We'll land on the beach instead. Where the, um, <laughs> the sand looks very stable. I'm sure we're fine. Here I am. This is Icarus. A lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. Right, anyway, let's, um, I'll talk over him because he's um, he's going to be talking very slowly. And let's start gathering some resources and stuff. And well, yes, as he's saying now, what I'm going to do is a queue up some additional tasks. So I'll knock down a tree or two, and maybe also get those things over there. I think that's iron ore. So now we can sit back and just watch him work. Right, let's check our inventory. Got plenty of stuff here. Including much O I know, which is going up. Oh, it's copper ore. I tell a lie. And I've also got organic crystal. Well, I think that's probably enough copper. Let's see what else is out there. That's a tree. Let's not see what that what that is, because it's a definitely it's definitely a tree. This looks like coal. So let's have a go with you. And we are gathering coal. Excellent stuff. We have uh, whatever that was. Um, copper and coal. Excellent. 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 And we also got what's over there? Oh, there's iron. The blue stuff on the right hand side is iron. And we also have some stone over there. And top left, more coal. So I don't actually know what we're building at the moment, so let's have a go over here and get some iron ore. You have not unlocked the construction menu yet. Uh, so we have to click the technology tree T. Or this icon back down here. So let's be doing that. Oh, hello. Okay. We've got plenty, plenty to do here. What's the end game? Mission complete. Makes sense. Universe Matrix? Data volume, 720k hashes. Mmm, delicious hash. So, that, yeah, that looks very, very endgamey. Go through things like the Dyson Sphere stress system, the energy storage, high strength crystal, um, honey. So, okay, so we start here. Main quest, electromagnetism. If I activate this. <laughs> energy is required in all mecha activities. Ooh. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. Right, let's see what counts as fuel around here. Hydrogen fuel rods? I think that sorted it out. Let's hope so. Probably time to start crafting. I'm guessing replicator. I mean, it looks like if we want to do this research, we have to... The magnetic coil. We will need maybe some copper? Looks like we can... Let's produce a bunch of it. Hasn't actually tutorialised me on this yet, but... I reckon I know what I'm doing. What can possibly go wrong? Yes, here we go. And we've got ten of those. Can we now make this? We need two of those, but I think we've already got those, so let's let's produce... We need ten of these, technically. And... Yes, we've done it, so theoretically we can do the research. I think it's doing it automatically. I think it's the, the research area is slowly but surely getting busy with it. Research complete! You have unlocked a new automated mining machine, which will automatically collect ores for you. Its capacity is limited. You may wish to transport these materials, minerals, to the smelting facility automatically. So we do probably need to start building things at some point. I've created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. It looks like I've been given some things for free for doing that research as well. So let's see, what do we need? Right, so it looks like I have to do it quite close. Let's do it... Here? Maybe? Ooh! There we go. And that'll give us some information which I shall completely ignore. <laughs> Brilliant, huh? So we probably need to power this thing. Using what we've got, so let's try... So we've got a Tesla Tower and a wind turbine. Right, let's build this reasonably close to things. 
see what it says about this. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Boop. You have done building the first power transmission facility. Tesla tower. Ooh, yes, here we go. I now have 32 copper ores. Uh, which I've added to my pile. I've got 57. Excellent stuff. Okay, so we've already got busy with mining. Let's see what else I can actually do there. Right, so to get to actually make our own mining machine, we do need quite a lot of stuff. Including what looks like some sort of metal ingot, probably iron ore ingot. Uh, some circuit boards and some miscellaneous other stuff. All of which I think we can actually do. Should probably have a smelting facility, shouldn't we? Rather than just do this manually. Well, let's have a look. See if we've actually got the ability to do that yet. I'm not sure we have. Oh, that's actually quite useful. Um, the buildings tab. Which means I think we can do this straight off. There we go. It'll do everything automatically rather than having to do all the components. That's very good to know. And hopefully that'll do it and for us. And we can put a mining machine on the coal over here without having to spend too much fanning around on... Oh, hang on. Mining machine. There we go. There. Does it quite have the power reach? So we will need to build another wind turbine. Wind turbine. Just the one. I probably should be, shouldn't be doing micro crafting. I should be doing lots in one go, but never mind about that. Now, that was a wind turbine. I, sh I, mean, I, sh I was actually trying to get a Tesla tower, but um, I'll, I'll do a wind turbine as well because we do need to uh, get a nice little grid going on. Oh, this is so much. Yeah, <laughs> not doing this from the ground up every time is a lot easier. God, my grid is just chaos at the moment, but I'm sure it'll be fine. There we go. It looks like um, the, um, the capacity of this miner is only 50 things, and then I have to take stuff out of it. Otherwise, it gets clogged up. So the next technologies we can unlock, um, we can unlock conveyor belts, along with sorter and storage. Uh, we can do metallurgy, uh, which gives us a... Oh, a smelter! Ooh, let's do this. Cue that. I should probably DQ some of this other gunk. There we oh, this is how you do it. Right, good. Right. Right click to do that thing on the left. Back to technology. And that should now, hopefully, queue itself up and work. We need 10 components and 10 micro thingy bobs, circuit boards. And that should be easy enough to do. And we just need to actually make the damn things. So let's go into that. And we'll go into the inventory for the time being. We need, what do we need? 10 coils and 10 circuit boards. So let's make the hell out of that. Looks like we can make 31 maximum. And 21 here. Right, that should queue that up. And once that's done, we'll be able to hopefully get technology things sorted. Oh, I've resumed the queue. There we go. Ooh, technology is nearly here. I can feel it. In my top, top left bones. Here we go, the smelter. It will automatically smelt base materials such as iron and copper ingots for you. To achieve full automation, you need to use a sorter and automatically put the ores on the conveyor belt into the smelter. Alright, so it looks like we've got another technology to sort out. Let's do that. Now, for this, we need a bunch of other stuff as well. We've unlocked some more upgrades. Or, well, I think this is the same as before. But, um, I'll, in fact, what I'll do is I'll, I'll queue up this one, the mecha core, because that should be quite straightforward. Right, anyway, so now we need... We've actually got the circuit boards. I think I overmade there. So we just need to make ten of these. And we should be good. Boop. There we go. That'll take care of itself with any luck. Right, now we can build a smelter. And let's build it. Ah, yeah, whatever. There. You built a smelter, which can smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Sorters and conveyor belts. I'm hoping that we can just dump these out directly from the mining machine into the smelter. Right, please select a recipe. Well, copper. Makes sense. And we do actually have power. We are close enough, apparently. Ah, conveyor belts have just popped in.
Right, so to input to the right... Oh, th this time... There it is! I think it was a Masota when I tried to build it first. I, I built it in the wrong direction, so it was trying to put it output onto the input. But all seems to be good now. We seem to be smelting automatically. Finally, some hot automation action. And we'll do the same for this over here. We'll need another way of producing... This is actually coal, isn't it, though? We don't want to produce... Uh, there's no such thing as a coal ingot. Is the grid getting overstretched? I don't think so. What I need to do is actually build a, a brand new facility near the iron ore district over here. Because that seems to be the most important raw material at the moment. Let's see if we can actually do some mining yet. We've got a horrible feeling I've run out of some of the components and stuff. Um, we may not have... We may not have the iron ingots. Hmm. We should have. I think it may be, or maybe it's the copper. We haven't actually got any copper. Ah, that's why. We do need to actually wait until we've actually done some smelting. I'm too far away at the moment. I can jetpack as well. Boingy, boingy. We can get it from quite a long way away, it seems. Oh, that's good. Right, now I should be able to um, um, construct another mining thing. Produce. No, just, just the one. Produce one of those, and we'll also need uh, a couple of these Tesla things. I think for power lines. Right, okay, done that. I know. Uh, this is, it, it does help if you've played Factorio. It's not essential because of the tutorial and everything, but it does help, it seems. Right, anyway. I keep on building. I think I'm building more than one thing of each sometimes. I've got more, more than one smeltery. Right, anyway, there we go. And we'll need the power lines, but let's put in a. Let's this is, I'm, I'm not thinking about any kind of clever grid at the moment, I'm just, just building. So I'll need a conveyor belt going between the two. Like that, and then a sorter. Like that. Now for the power lines. We have enough for three Teslas. Looks like there's quite... A, these actually quite, stretch quite a long way. Which is nice. And already we have the power! To choose iron ore. There we go. Although the, the lack of, there seems to be maybe not quite enough power in the grid. We've got 37% satisfaction. I think um, the power grid will trip if you get below 10% apparently. I think I might build another wind turbine. And we're going to need more. It looks like more iron ore. So are we actually are we, are we building iron ore ingots or is it just stopped? I think we are building it slowly, but we are just... Yeah, we are lacking a bit in power. So let's get... Wind. Pop. There we go. This might take a bit of time. What else have we got? We've, got, we've already got several store, um, sorters in stock. And a couple of conveyor belts. Yeah, look, everything's complaining about power now. Not any longer. Too close to another wind turbine. Okay, there. There. And maybe... Actually, we're okay for now. Let's not go crazy. Otherwise, I'll be using up all my materials. Let's grab ingots as per necessary. Yes, there we go. Stuff for days. So now they're all chugging along. Let's go grab some... Where's the coal? Is this coal? Yes, this is coal. Yes, I've got the coal. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at the tech tree now. Again. Um, I've actually done the mecha core upgrade. That happened at some point, <laughs> basically. And basic assembling, fluid, plasma to control. It seems like we should be doing these in order, really, shouldn't it? So let's do that. And then maybe we, if we... Actually, let's go back into there and enqueue the other one. Um, assembling process. If we can. Like that. Nice little assembly machine. We are entering the... Um, the um, the LV age, if this was um, uh, Greg Tech, which is not. So I'm really hoping we get some storage solutions soon. Uh, I think I saw that on the tech tree, but at the moment what I'm waiting for... What, what, I wanted, what I'll do is I'm, I've, I've just created a bunch of conveyor belts. So what I'm going to do... Actually, get rid of that. Is I'm going to try to get everything that we're creating out to like, a, like a, what will be, end up being like a crate location, I think. Somewhere down the line. I think... We'll probably need... Yeah, we'll need a sorter, so let's place that there. And that over to... There. And we already have sorters. So let's make... Oh, 
make sure it goes outwards. Oh, need to get a bit closer so I can see what the hell I'm doing. There we go. There's a new sorter. But we... Actually, yeah, we do need power for the sorters. I didn't realise this at first. Tesla Tower. Here we go. Let's build that. There. And now we're outputting... We're outputting ingots to... It's, it is just going to get completely... There we go. <laughs> it's just going to get completely stacked up. So that's done that. And we'll need another one from the coal and from the iron ore. Just so everything's in the same place, really. Where's the iron ore gone? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I just realised we do actually have storage. And um, I completely ignored that. So let's build three storage boxes. Apparently we're trying to replicate something that we can't make, I don't think. But, eh, whatever. Actually, if that's the case... Let's... Oh, and actually, oh, that's why, because the um, the storage box requires something that... Ooh, how do you make that? We need to make it out of... Stone. Oh, we made... Oh, stone! Okay, so finally we've got a use... A need for stone. We've got 30 stone as it is. Okay, so we can do that then, I think. Let's do that. Let's do as much as we can. I think at the moment the reason why nothing's happening is because I think I might be actually out of energy, so... I think I can use wood for this. So I think that should be fine. Yes, there we go. That's what I did earlier. So with any luck now... Yes, now we're starting to do the replication. And then we'll be able to build our storage boxes. So let's queue those up again. We, we actually don't need that much for this. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, I might be able to double this... Hmm. It's not ideal, but... You can now click the planet thumbnail button in the lower left corner of the screen, or press the M key to try the planet view mode. The planet view mode? Ooh, we'll do that in a second once I've just powered stuff up. I think we're finally starting to crack the nut of this. Whatever the nut is. <laughs> what does that even mean? Right. So we also probably will need to demolish that thing. Just, uh, just because. And we'll also need to con construct another sorter. Just the one. So, ah, uh, into there, and then we'll need the power, because I've got the power. Do, 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 do. Nice. I think everything that should now, you ne eventually. Yes, there we go. Everything's going into the into the storage box. We'll also need another one here, so we'll need to make another one of them. Boop, boop, boop. Store. Sorted. Okay. There's nothing actually coming out of this. <laughs> I've just realised. Um, it's a bit pointless. Um, I think we can just do this. There we go. All the coal in the world is now going into our box. And so we don't need to keep on taking everything out of the machines now. So, all good. Oh yeah, this is this is so much better. Right, let's treat ourselves with the MK. Hang on, this reminds me of something else. Okay, oh yeah, cool. Oh wow, this is cool. To enter the star map mode. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, we've got miles away. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in another bloody universe. Oh, this is cool. You can see just how big the universe is. Or at least the galaxy. Or at least the solar system. Or at least the local area. It's the Delta Quadrant. This is now canon with Star Trek Voyager. <laughs> or something. Anyway, let's zoom back in. Oh wow. And... Oh, we've missed it! I think I'm... Where are we? I'm lost. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where's my planet gone? Where's me? Where am I? <laughs> I'm lost in the universe. Oh, there we go. Press escape. Now we're back. Now we're back in the land of the robots. Not the land of the living. Something like that. Anyway, okay, so this has been a very big, a quick crash course in what, what the very start of the game is like, what you set up your first automation and all that. Uh, obviously, I need to start researching more technologies and see where this goes. I'm hoping to revisit this in future videos, so let me know if you enjoy it and want to see more. And if you really do enjoy it, do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there. Uh, check me out on Patreon and maybe even buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel and keep us going. Bye for now.